to the Fraz Report, a short broadcast by me, the awesome gnome, about the world of Warcraft. So right out the gate, the poopy head responsible for the DDoS attack that plagued us has been found and arrested according to Icy Veins. DDoS is not a joke. You are taking away employees' time from their families to fix it, and you are affecting people being able to play. I have no pun for this story. It's because DDoSers suck. They are not worthy of a joke. Now with the DDoSing done, people can enjoy the game. And I see Vance reports that Super Day released a report saying that they estimate Classic has grown subs by 223%. I still don't get how things can go past 100%, but still cool to hear. And you know it's hard to take a census in Classic, as Woward reports that Slash Who can no longer be automatically used in-game. I predict this is either to stop the load of plugins automatically pulling this on the servers, or, as some have speculated, it's Blizzard trying to stop people from seeing the numbers. You know, though, I'm going to try right now and see if I can see if anyone is still playing Classic using good old Slash Yell. Hello out there! Is anyone alive out there? Can anyone hear me? I hear you. I wish I didn't. I'll be nice to the gnome. Oh, make me. Your mom, man. Any anyway, anyway, there have been different hotfixes recently. In Classic, hunters were not able to feign death correctly, and Blizzard is going to be working to fix it. A hotfix they applied is going to reduce the chance your feigned death gets cancelled. And apparently the Summer Bass has not been able to be fished up in Classic. Pazerox has posted on the US forums in response to this report. They said, did somebody say fishing? I love fishing. I know some of you think I'm crazy, but I'm hooked on it. And one of the things that's really cool about fishing in Wild Classic is the seasonal fish. We realize that summer is coming to an end soon, and there's currently a bug preventing you from netting seasonal fish from the oceans of Azeroth. We realize this is a time-sensitive issue, and people want to be able to catch summer bass before the summer ends, so we made it a real top priority. But this issue turned out to be a can of worms, and as a result, probably will not be fixed before the end of summer. Sorry we didn't catch it sooner, but we think we've got a line on it, and we'll let you know if we're able to land it. And Brewfest is here, and this year brought along the Chow Down game. The gorge yourself until you puke game is not without bugs, but Blizzard put in some hotfixes on September 20th for the game, as well as Horde players are now apparently able to bark at all announcements in Orgrimmar. I just hope those players don't ride on an empty stomach. As we approach BlizzCon, there's a lot of speculation about what's happening with Blizzard games. I have a sad bit of news that Alessandra shared with me. According to PC Games N, Diablo 3 is now considered a classic game, as Blizzard is looking for a senior software engineer for their classic game servers, which they included Diablo 3 in that list. This is not the first game we've recently to be a classic game, Heroes being another one of the recents, but it does make me hopeful that maybe, maybe, maybe we will see Diablo 4 at BlizzCon. In a hope of inspiration, Alessandra also brought to my attention an article from Player.1 that says that both a financial analyst from SunTrust, Robinson Humphrey, and Jeff Cohen of Stevens Inc. believe Overwatch and Diablo will be seeing releases soon, and Cohen believes that this will happen in 2020. And finally, patch 8.2.5 is being released on Tuesday. Speculation is still running rampant on what could be in the next two cinematics. This report is releasing before the patch, so we will know next week whether I'm still reporting from Iron Forge or in a crazy plot twist, all of Azeroth ceases to exist. So this is all crazy speculation on my part. I know one fact, though, that this is the end of the report. So until next time, be awesome. The Frazzle Report is a fan podcast that covers Blizzard games. We are not affiliated with Blizzard Entertainment, Inc. Views expressed by the hosts and guests are their own. And the art, music, and sound effects come from Blizzard games and are owned by Blizzard Entertainment, Inc., no copyright infringement is intended. This show is brought to you by Dragon Powered Studio. Find more at dragonpoweredstudio.com.